does against the Notre Dame College women's volleyball team. Coach Mark Ridley, coach of the volleyball team here at Notre Dame. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is awesome. I understand uh, the girls are working out here in the background here and uh, you've been working with them for how long? Uh, actually, this is my seventh year. Seventh year? Yeah, uh, we got a few more than those, but... Yeah, uh, I would think so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's how good they are. They only yeah, need that's right. We only need three. <laughs> but no, we've, um, you know, the girls have been working hard. Uh, this, like I said, this is my seventh year with the program and... Um, They've, this year, we're, we've kind of suffered through some injuries, you know, really? uh, early season, but the girls have, uh, you know, come through it, and right now we're 14-14 we're overall. Really? And we're 40, or fighting for a spot, you know, to get in the conference tournament. So. And you have to be drunk, because I mean, you put a wig on me. Uh, yeah. I gotta yeah. tell you something, Coach. I played a mean volleyball game like two camera reunions ago. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Seriously, my uncle was like half in the bag. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I think he got there drunk. So I was just slamming him. And of course, he was slamming him too. Yeah, well, but you we, might get slammed down today, I'm telling really? you. Really? Yeah. Oh, you, you think so? Want, oh, yeah. Girls, you ready to play a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bring it. That would have been really cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> Help. Where were you? What? what? Well, it's mine. It's yours too. I thought we were a team. Oh. <laughs> Hot. I'm supposed to get that? Uh, no. No. Mine. Oh. It's over in that. Thank you, fast life. Well, Joe, good workout, huh? I feel pretty good. I really do. Are you sure? I, I think we made some friends. I think the girls really bonded with me. Yeah, it looks so. like they like you quite a bit. Is that all you got? <laughs> Notre Dame College is also known for this. If you catch up with them, Mike! Mike, stop! Stop! Robin Swoboda here! Uh, yeah. Hello. You Hello. are fast. Thank you. This is uh, one of the top ten race walkers in the uh, and in, the, in, in, the, in the country for in the uh, race country. walking. For college How race walking. cool is that? It's very so, cool. So you came, you came to Notre Dame College, and you were a walk. Uh, walk on, no pun intended. Yes. To the uh, uh, track and field. Yes, I was. I was actually recruited for wrestling, and yeah. um, interestingly enough, I uh, my heart, you know, I wanted to try to track, so. I walked on the track team and a coach got me into race walking because on the team I was just throwing javelin and running the 800. Uh huh. So and so now you're a race walker. How yes. fast do you walk? I can walk a mile and in, uh, in about six minutes and 51 and a half seconds. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Give or take a second. Give or take. Yeah. Six minutes and 51 seconds. Mm -hmm. And there there are a few people who are faster than you. Yes. So, so how, only a what's the best record? The you best know? record, the American record for the mile is about. Uh, 633. Oh, so you're close. No, I got a while to go. Ah. Actually, I think it's five. I think it's in the fives now. Actually, I, I'm wrong. It's got to be in the fives by now. What, what's the uh, What's the trick to uh, race walking? Uh, there's two rules to follow in race walking. Okay. The first rule is that you must always keep full contact with the ground. This full means that with the ground. yes. Okay. This means like Lay how down? we regularly walk. No. That one foot must always be touching at all times. Okay. So you never have air time like you do when you run. Okay. The second rule is that your leg that comes forward, you can bend your knee like a runner does uh -huh. but once it strikes the ground at the moment yes. of contact your leg must be straight and how they define that is not bend at the knee until it passes under your center of gravity then you could bend it again okay so there's a lot to that yes so you want to heal you want to strike, strike with put, your heel uh -huh. and then just roll through all right and then okay. as you get mo as you get moving it's real smooth and fluid okay. moving across the ground let's go let's okay. go and while we're doing that and Rebecca, use your arm oh. just like a runner yes. and lead with your hip yes. kind of like this oh. See? How's this? How's this? Uh, you're bending your knees. Oh, so I'm bending my knees. Yeah. Oh! So straight, do this, do this. Just do this. Okay, straight. Rebecca's going to check out so, the choir while so uh, Mike continues to show me how to walk. Feel like this. Yeah, keep you that You ever do this straight. with them all? Love in humble service For the weight of human need Who upon the cross forsaken Offered mercies Hi ladies, I'm Hello. so sorry to interrupt, but I thought we'd come and check out the music program here. Do you have a couple minutes? Yes, indeed. Awesome. Yes, we were thank just getting so ready much. for a little service here in our chapel. Great, well thank you so much. Thank you, Raquel. down and have a little chat with you. Sure. Sure. Now, sister, could you tell us exactly where we are? 
Uh, right now we are in the chapel of Notre Dame College. This is our recently renovated chapel and it is literally at the heart and center of our building. It was one of the earliest structures in this building when the college was built. And just last year we had it uh, renovated and the altar restored. It's beautiful. Thank you. And the acoustics are amazing. The acoustics indeed are amazing. We've actually had professionals come here to do recordings because the acoustics are so alive, so, so really excellent. Tell us about the music program, because in so many schools, unfortunately, you hear that music programs are disappearing, arts programs are disappearing, but it's really important to the school, isn't it? It's very important to Notre Dame College. One of the things that our president, Dr. Roth, is convinced about is that the fine arts help students with thinking, both critical and creative thinking. And our arts program is actually growing here. Our choir has grown immensely in the last few years and we now have a marching band and some very creative music appreciation courses. So we have a lot of options for various kinds of students. And of course, you could just take it, I would think, as a sort of extra, extracurricular, and then maybe could you major in music here as well? We don't have a major or a minor, but we do provide courses for students who need the fine arts requirement, and all students really do need some sort of a fine arts course. It's part of our liberal arts education. Now, I have a problem because I can't sing, and I'm sure that there are other kids that can't sing. Uh, is there help for those of us who have that issue? <laughs> Absolutely. If you don't take art, you can take a very interesting kind of music course. We offer something called Music Now and Then, and it's a genre-based approach in which we, first of all, introduce students to the elements of music and all the different cultural periods of, of music history. And then we, we begin with uh, music theater and show how this descended from the opera. And then we take jazz, we start up again with another contemporary genre, and we trace it all the way back to Baroque and classical instrumental music. And then finally we do film music and show how it's related to program music of the Romantic era. So we have courses like that. We have jazz appreciation, which will be offered next semester, in addition to some of the more traditional approaches to music appreciation. It sounds like fun. Can you tell me about the choir? We do have a, a, an interesting approach to our choir as well. In addition to teaching our own students, we have different kinds of uh, constituencies from the community in our group. We have faculty and staff. We have alum, we have some of the sisters on the faculty, and we also even have a board of director member. Wow. Can you teach me a little something? I was trying to teach Rachel a piece so that we could get ready for an upcoming mass here. Awesome. All right, well, I'm going to take a quick little lesson from the sister. Back to you guys. Oh, look, they're finally taking him away. <laughs> we'll have more of That's Life from Notre Dame College right after this. Oh, I feel so free now. He was creeping me out. <laughs>